everyone, welcome to Homestead Dreaming. I'm Kira and today I feel like spring has finally decided to grace us with her presence. And by that I mean my allergies are going a little bit crazy. But I figured that today would be a great day to put together my new green stock vertical garden. I chose the terracotta color for my first green stock because it's one of my favorite colors and find it to be extremely classic and timeless. Each green stock comes with a pack of seeds and I also ordered the mover which helps me move the green stock around while it's full. So the mover comes with three casters that are not lockable and three that are. And so the instructions recommend that you alternate between the locking ones and the non-locking ones. That way you have stability when you don't want it to move. So we'll start with a locking one and then we'll add a non-locking one. And then another locking one. There we go. Now we've got the locking ones alternating the not locking ones. <laughs> so now we add the drain pipe that's included to this bottom spot right here where it spouts out the excess water. There we go. Now we want to make sure that these are locked before we begin assembling the green stock and they are and here is the cap for the overflow just in case you don't want this in case you don't want this to drain out it also includes a little cap so that you can cap it off all right now that we've got the mover put together we're going to go ahead and fill these with soil each tier holds one cubic feet of soil so i've got three packs of Pro Mix, which are two cubic feet each. So I will use two and a half of these to fill up all of the levels, all of the tiers. This is one of my favorite times of the year. The brand new leaves popping up all over the trees, the thunderstorms rolling through, the stunning annual flowers popping up from their winter slumber. Springtime has always spoken to my heart in more ways than I can possibly put into words. Once you fill your tier with soil, place the gray watering disc on the top. Make sure that each of the holes line up to the pockets to make sure that each pocket gets evenly watered. Once everything is put together, I fill this top reservoir with water until the water comes out of the bottom. That's how you know each tier has enough water to hydrate every single pocket in every single tier. Now that we've got this beautiful green stock vertical garden all filled with soil, stacked up, we've gotten our water to go through enough so that it exits down the bottom. Uh, it's time to plant and I'm so excited to get plants and seeds in this stunning vertical planter. Um, I couldn't help myself and decided to get a few starts from the store. I've got a lavender, I've got a peppermint, and I've got a cilantro. 
and um, I'm not gonna, it, and this came with a pack of bush bean seeds. However, we're not past our last frost date yet and I'm really not uh, confident that they would thrive at this point because our evenings are still getting really, really chilly, below freezing for sure. So um, I'm gonna keep things in here that can handle that cold. Um, so we're gonna do the lavender, the peppermint, and the cilantro. And we're also gonna sow a few seeds. So the seeds that we're gonna sow in the green stock today are gonna be some cherry bell radishes, some pink Swiss chard, some Vulcan Swiss chard, um, some little marvel peas. And I found these at the Dollar Tree and I thought that they were so, um, intriguing because these are dwarf bush uh, these are a dwarf bush variety of peas and I've never seen a bush variety of peas before we're also gonna do these purple plum radishes and these French breakfast radishes That was so much fun. I'm so excited for these to sprout and fill all these little pockets with greenery. I'm so excited for the radishes, these peas. I've never tried these particular peas before, the little marvel peas. Um, I'm excited to see how the dwarf plants act in this green stock. Um, I love the way it looks with these green plants hanging off the side, the cilantro, the peppermint, and the lavender really pops up against this terracotta color. I'm really glad I chose this one for my first green stock. It's really, really stunning. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today while I put this new green stock vertical planner together. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're updated when the update to this particular video goes up in a few weeks and so that we can hang out again on the next one. Bye guys.